Who do you feel connected to? This is part of the Explore Your Why nine-part series. Why do you invest in African women's education? Why invest over there and not here? What is your connection to African women? These are the questions I get asked. We provide tertiary education scholarships to women in developing countries through our You, Me, We Foundation. We've interviewed African women pioneers for WisdomExchangeTV.com with the goal of African women leaders educating future African women leaders. My connection is a combination of many reasons, but above all, I'm inspired by and gravitate to people who drive transformational change. These people often go uncelebrated. For these reasons, and my belief that women's intuition, integrity, humility, and perseverance, and compassion can create a more collaborative and inclusive world. On my first trip to Kenya, while attending a ceremony hosted by the late Dr. Douglas Carew, chairman of the African International University, his welcome message aligned with my connection to African women leaders. Dr. Douglas Carew shared that Westerners often bring their stuff to Africa, things Africans don't need. The real need in Africa is leadership. He said, the biggest problem in Africa today is not AIDS, poverty, disease, education, or urbanization. The biggest problem is leadership. When moral leaders with integrity and justice arise, then African problems will be solved. I suspect we can apply this aspiration to many countries. The second consideration of Explore Your Why is empathy. Who do you feel connected to? While exploring who you want to impact, consider when you listen to the news, what people or issues pull at your heartstrings. Empathy means you have an understanding or share feelings of another. It can manifest because of an intense life experience, such as a family member being diagnosed with a disease or having an accident. Often people are connected to a cause because of who they know, who has been impacted by it. But that's not always the case. You don't need to understand or share feelings to have compassion for someone's situation or circumstance. The difference between empathy and compassion is described in the book of joy. Empathy is simply experiencing another's emotion. Compassion is more empowering state where we want what is best for the other person. The Dalai Lama describes it best. If we just see a person who is being crushed by a rock, the goal is not to get under the rock and feel what they're feeling, is to help remove the rock. The first situation would be empathy. The second would be compassion. Being empathetic is a value trait. However, knowing who you are compassionate toward, regardless of personal circumstances, will drive the realization of your why, aka your purpose, because it comes from your authentic self. Once realized, you who you feel compassion toward can lead to who will be the beneficiary of your purpose. Influence your career choice, your volunteer efforts, and charitable giving. Consider. Who or what do you feel the most compassionate towards? Why does it pull at your heartstrings? What do you understand about this group or situation? Is your connection deep enough that you will persevere? And how do you know? Why don't you stop and contemplate the who to contribute to, then explore the how, because much more becomes much more focused. But first, let's reflect on what motivates you, as this will impact who where and why to consciously contribute consistently. This is Suzanne F. Stevens, founder of the Yumi We Group. Until next time, make your contribution count.